The Moto G60 2.5G is, as you can tell by the name, one of the many phone models from Motorola's affordable G lineup. What makes this one special, or at least stand out from the rest of its kin, is that it offers 5G connectivity for the very affordable price tag of just over PS200. There's one question that almost immediately pops up when you see a 5G phone with such an appealing price tag. Though what did the manufacturer have to strip away to achieve that? Well, in the case of the Moto G62, it turns out Motorola apparently had to cut quite a bit. Nevertheless, the Moto G60 2 5G has some redeeming qualities that help it stay afloat. But enough beating around the bush, let's see what this modest 5G phone is made of. Moto G60 2 5G Design Color The Moto G60 2 5G has the all-too-familiar design of other G-series phone models. You have your rather sizable flat screen with a big punch hole for the front-facing camera and the center top of the phone. That same screen is snuggled between a thick top bezel and a bottom one that is twice the thickness. Now, while the screen is flat, thankfully the edges of the phone are rounded, which makes the phone easier to hold. It also helps that the Moto G62 is neither heavy nor super light. 184 6.49 which further adds to a secure feel in the hand. Moto G62 5G The Moto G62 comes with an admirably good display for its price point. The best part about it is the 120Hz max refresh rate, which helps make animations and overall navigation of the phone's UI a pleasure to experience. If you want to extend the battery life, you can change the refresh rate to 60Hz from the display settings, or opt for the auto option, letting the phone decide instead. Unfortunately, it is quite a rarity to get an OLED display at this price point, alongside the amazing contrast it brings. Here you have a 6.5-inch IPS display with a resolution of 1080x2400 pixels. Moto G62 5G Motorola has equipped the Moto G62 with its classic trio, a 50MP main camera, 8MP ultra-wide, and a 2MP. We also have a 16MP selfie snapper at the front of the phone that as we already pointed out, is noticeably big. In all honesty, the only two cameras that are worth any attention are the 50MP main and the selfie shooter. That's good news, as they are the ones we tend to use the most on our phones. The selfie camera, while not exactly perfect when met with difficult scenarios, does a good job provided you give it enough light. Skin tones are generally represented quite accurately with this camera. It looks like Motorola paid special attention to the selfie lovers out there. The ultra-wide, on the other hand, noticeably lacks detail when compared to the main camera. It is still usable and you can get a somewhat decent looking shot with it, but that's about it. What's more, you can only shoot video via the ultra-wide and 1080 thirdths. Last but not least, we have the 2MP macro, which is just there. The footage you get from this one is so blurry that you might as well forget it is even there. Moto G62 5G OS As per usual with Motorola phones, the Moto G62 comes with a very stock version of Android 12. Of course, you also have the company's admittedly neat extra features like special hand gestures, menu customization options, and other features like attentive display. In terms of software updates and longevity, Motorola is not exactly known for having prolonged support, especially with cheaper models such as the G62. It is safe to say that in this case, there will be only one major update to Android 13, with a much slighter chance of an Android 14 update later down the line. The same also goes for security updates, which are sometimes a bit late compared to the competition. Moto G62 5 Now we reach the strongest aspect of all the Moto G62 specs, which is its large battery and amazing battery life. In this case, we have a maximum capacity of 5000 mAh that works splendidly with the power efficiency of the Snapdragon 480 Plus 5G chip resulting in a good two days of battery with regular use. Moto G62 5G Chart What the G62 offers an overall battery life, though, it lacks in its ability to charge the humongous 5000 mAh cell. That's because the maximum supported charge here is 15W, which you can't even make full use of if you solely rely on the 10W charger that comes in the box. Moto G62 5G Audio Quality now, the Moto G62 5G comes with stereo speakers that are truly a joy. They can get quite loud if need be, and without getting too tinny sounding at that. This is probably one of the strongest selling points for this Motorola, second only to the amazing battery life. Oh yeah, 
and there's a 3.5mm headphone jack. Haptics, on the other hand, leave much to be desired. But then again, we didn't really expect anything less from a Motorola with a PS200 price tag. Our advice is to turn the vibration as soon as you get your hands on the Moto G62 and leave it only for calls and notifications basically a standard move with the Moto G series. Moto G62 5G If you can stretch your budget even just a tiny bit, you can get yourself the Galaxy A335 G instead, which comes with a better display, chip performance, faster charging, software support, and last but not least better camera quality. We can also recommend the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G for many of the same reasons as the Galaxy A33, minus the software. Overview Yes, the Moto G62 5G from Motorola is one of the most affordable phones in the market to offer 5G connect. However, it sacrifices a bit too much from the other aspects that make or break a phone for our liking. The display would have been a great one for this price point, despite the inaccurate colors and mediocre contrast levels, if only its maximum brightness was more satisfactory. Another great example is a great battery life that can easily be overshadowed by the poor charging speeds and the even less capable charging brick, which almost feel like a joke just to spite the user. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end. It would be a great pleasure for us if you're a little help with this video. Comment us below.